in there. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not. I'm not king of the sneaker hill. Like you know, what I'm saying like, don't don't. Don't don't you know tag me and you know some of these major sneakerhead niggas that got two thousand pairs sneakers. I'm not over the top. Basically, I'm a Jordan you know Jordan four kind of nigga. Like basically any kind of Jordan fours that's out, you can find them here. Let's see, um, Panda. All right, so let's see what Panda talking about. Um, if you could build your own floss phone, what features would it have? Well, to build my own phone to keep it a real simple, it would be the build of a HTC One M8. That build, that aluminum build with the speakers on the front, I would make it bigger. I would make it the size of, remember the HTC One Max? That was my favorite phone. They just fucked up with the process on that. I would put the HTC One Max size, HTC One M8 build. I put the iPhone camera, put the Galaxy multitasking and the Galaxy, pretty much the uh, 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 Android OS, like a new, like the Note 4 OS, like Android, the, the latest Android OS on it. With an S Pen. So that, that, that kind of sums it up. So you say Galaxy Note software with the S Pen. <laughs> HTC M8 build mm -hmm. with speakers on the front. iPhone camera. And um, the size of an HTC One Max. Right. That would be, that phone would be complete beast mode. All right? And maybe the display from the LG G3. Because that display is ridiculous. LG G3 display. And battery from um the what was it the droid what what droid was that that Motorola droid that had that ridiculous battery or oh, Razer Max Razer Max battery, all right so that would be that phone would be crazy but um that phone would probably cost a grip you know all that shit it probably cost a good couple of dollars, all right Panda so that that would be it do the math build that phone yourself and if you you know if you do come out with that phone let me know I will cop one for you <laughs> let's see um Agera Agera. Uh, am I going to give the Sony Xperia Z3 a shot? Uh, mm, uh, I don't know. The Sony Z3, the tablet, the Z3, the, the, that Sony um, Sony tablet is so tough. But as far as the phone-wise, I don't know, man. It's like certain phones come out at certain times, and it's not the phone's fault. It's the time that came out. Like, you know, just like right now, you got that, that new HTC phone coming out, that the HTC Eye and all that. You know, that looks cool and all that, but at, you know, the same time that you got Nexus 6 dropping, you got iPhone 6, you got Note 4 and Edge, it's going to be hard for anybody to move any units coming out, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be hard for, like, the BlackBerry Passport, a lot of cats asking me, am I going to get that? The answer is no. BlackBerry's a done deal. That would be a nice novelty phone, but for me to go out and drop six, $700 for that shit just for, you know, novelty, just for nostalgic purposes... That ain't happening. All right, now don't get me wrong. That BlackBerry Passport look, the keyboard looks sick, but it's still a BlackBerry. So you're gonna have the same problems that you had with all the other Blackberries. You know, no apps, um, you know, limited support and all that. You know, no updates. And there's no nigga. Even when um BlackBerry Messenger came out, remember everybody got it again for about about a week, and then that shit disappeared off the set. So if niggas ain't even using BlackBerry Messenger on Android phones and Apple phones, Hello. why the fuck is anybody gonna use this shit on the BlackBerry? That shit is a done deal. You can forget about that. All right, let's see. Um, be nice. How about them Browns? Um, <laughs> the Browns. Yeah. I I don't know. I haven't watched Sports Center yet. I, I don't know who. Did, matter of fact, um. I don't know who the who I don't even know who the Browns played, but um he must be he must be in Cleveland. He must be a Cleveland fan. The Browns, they might be doing their thing. They probably number one in the division. Womp womp. I don't really care about that because like I said, football season doesn't start until the playoffs. Once the playoffs come, then ask the Patriots if you don't believe me. All of that, you know, thirteen and zero record, all that bullshit goes out the window because when the playoffs come, that's when the Giants come alive and that's when we start sending niggas home. Yeah. All right, let's see. My man Ethan Ricks, this is my dude right here. I be hollering at Ethan all the time. Uh, did he miss it? Nah, nah, Ethan, we still here. We still live. We still drinking up. Let's have a shot for my man Ethan too, yo, because I've been hollering at this cat on Instagram and Twitter. It's one of my hardcore niggas right here. Ah, okay. Let's see. Um, He got busy, didn't log into Twitter in time. Anyway, um, am I more excited for the Note 4 or the Note Edge? Well, Ethan, to be honest with y'all, I'm more excited for, I would say the Note 4. Because the Note Edge, I don't know, man. I don't know. I got I actually got a, 
I gotta wait and see what kind of accessories is coming out for that and all that. We gotta see how that's gonna flow. See if they put the exact same S Pen as on both. Because uh, now I could be wrong, but I'm hearing that the S Pen is a little bit build quality, a little bit different on the Edge than on the Note 4. And like I said, uh, on the on the Note series, S Pen is a, a major selling point for me. So I need the top of the line S Pen. But um, which one am I more excited for? I'll probably say to, to be honest probably the note edge just for the floss factor just to have it on the table with that curved screen and letting that information ticker on the side especially when i know there's going to be some custom you know custom roms for that where you're going to be able to have your instagram or you're going to be able to root it and put some crazy shit on that side screen you know then that's going to get sick all right then i'm going to be doing a lot of a lot of shutdown status on niggas so um yeah ethan i'm definitely excited about the note 4 but i probably say a little bit more for the note 4 edge let's see um Zeit Zeke, uh, I'm not even going to try to say the name, I'll just spell it out. Z I E T Z K E. All right, let's see. Just uh, just picked up the Pebble Steel, use it with my iPhone 6 and G3, major go. All right, the Pebble Watch, it's cool. The, you know, don't get me wrong, I'm, you know, I like the Pebble Watch. I just never got into it because I see more stuff going down with the Gear Series. The Gear Series does more. You know, and that camera, yo. I, I need that camera, yo. Look, let me see. Let me show y'all something. Look at this, yo. Look at that camera, son. You need that, yo. You you, you never know. Look, there's an old saying. You rather, <laughs> you rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Right. I, that, and that goes through so many, so many, you can put that in so many scenarios in day-to-day -day life. But just speaking as, as on the watch, yeah. That one time when some shit going down and you can't make it to your phone in time or maybe they confiscated your phone, maybe your phone battery's dead and you got that camera on your wrist, that's important to me. All right, so that's why I never gave, you know, never got into the Pebble. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the Pebble got a good price and all that, but um, I don't know. I'm glad you like it, though. You know what I'm saying? I, me, I had to pass on that shit, though. Yeah. Let's see, uh, my man, Dr. Ambusher. Let's see, um... What does Flossy mean if it has meaning? And when are you coming to Cali? Because there's a lot of friends to the channel out here. All right. Now, what does Flossy mean? All right. Well, I'm not going to get into the whole story of how, <laughs> how that, how that, don't roll your eyes. To your eyes. Don't roll your, I'm not going to get into the story of why they started calling me Flossy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They've been calling me that for a long time. I've been flossing on the set for years. Yeah. A lot of y'all niggas was wearing pampers and I was already flossing through the set. We're not going to get into that. But Flossy means. Flossy is just like, you know, um, shining, glistening, like, you know, stunting. I, I, look, how can I explain that? Let me see. It's kind of like, like balling. Not balling necessarily. Like when somebody says something is flossy, that means that it's nice, it's new, it's crispy. Showing. Yeah, like, you know, it looks good. Stunting. Yeah, stunting. You know, like, 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 it doesn't have to, it doesn't necessarily wow. mean, yeah, it doesn't necessarily mean expensive. Yeah. Like, it's mine. I got yeah. it. it. Like yeah. the way we used to talk, like we'll say, like say you just bought a new pair of shoes, right? You just bought the newest shoes that's out, some crazy shoes that's nice, everybody like. And your man will call you and ask you, "Oh, you going to that party? What you gonna wear?" You'll be like, "Son, I'm flossing the new kicks." You flossing them? That means you wearing them. You wear. Not only are you wearing them, but you wearing them with pride. You know, you wearing them nice, and you know, you wearing them to 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 look boss. You know, you know what I'm saying? So, and. I didn't make up that word, you know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't make that word up, you know what I'm saying? So you listen to old school rap song, you know, Tupac. Tupac and them, that's when that's when I really, when, you know, when that word was being thrown around the most, and that's when I was, like, in my prime time shine, you know, that's, so, that's when this shit came about. But that's what it means, though. So Flossy Card is not my name. It's what I do, you know what I'm saying? So when people be like, yo, is your name Flossy? That's not my name. That's not my real name. That's just what I do. On a consistent basis, team you know what I'm saying. Team. That's why we say Team Floss. That doesn't mean you down on my team. Like when I be like, "Yo, niggas, that's down with Team Floss." That doesn't mean you down with me. That means you you a nigga that like to. You have pride in the way you dress, the way you carry yourself. Maybe you got a nice car. You have pride in your car. Maybe you keep your house clean. Like somebody come through your house, and your house is mad clean. We we'll say, yo, that nigga house was mad flossy. What does that mean? That means your house was mad clean. You had the leather couches, TVs everywhere. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, it'll look nice. So, so Dr. Ambusher, that's what that means. It just means shit that's, um, that's boss. All right? You could just sum it up by saying shit is boss. You know, all right? So we, 
Dr. Amber show when you got your new car and you got you come out the car wash and, and the shit is mad clean and they just vacuum the inside and got the air fresh and all that, you'll say, look, my car is mad flossy right now because that means it's, it's clean and it's ready to go. All right, let's see. Christian Perez, uh, any floss certified HTC M8 cases? Uh, just those, um, what's the name of them shits? Those um, double dip cases. The double dip cases was my favorite ones for the HTC M8. Not too much other shit though. Whatever. I remember that. You remember the double dip, and then they started coming out with a bunch of colors and all that. But that one you had wasn't in gray and red. The gray and red. That was yeah. the, that was the best it one. Yeah. That was the best one. That case fits the M8. So no, that was the M7. That was the M7 when I had that one. But it came out wow. for the M8. It came out for the M8. But it was that's when the M8 version came out. A bunch of different colors and all that. That's yeah, that. That yeah, one is that one is yeah, dope. That one is dope, but the original M7 HTC um, gray and red case, that shit was tough. So that that that, that one got the official seal, yeah. But there's a bunch of other, let's see, um, M8 cases. Oh, which one? Matter of fact, where's my favorite one? Where's my M8 at? You see right there underneath that iPhone? This is my actually the one that I use on the daily. It's these speaking ones, yeah. Now, I got these in a bunch of colors. I got the gold one. I think this is... I forgot the name of this one off the top of my head. But this is my favorite one. All right, this case is dope. All right, this is my favorite HTC M8 case. Sick. Let's see. Um, now I'm going to wrap this up right now. All right, but niggas... A lot of cats are still hitting me up. So, do we have to keep it moving a little bit longer? You having fun or what, man? You, 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 you got somewhere to go? Yeah? Hi. Oh, okay. As long as Tito got nowhere to go, then we just chilling. Yeah, I'm going. You ain't going nowhere, nigga. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, my bad, Mark Ewan. Let's see. Um, in the wee hours of the, it's in the wee hours in Einberg. Einberg, okay. Let's see, and let's see. And the most overrated tech you got, mine was the Wii or Sega Saturn. Let's see. Um, uh, oh, the Saturn. Remember the Sega Saturn? Aww. Look, let me tell y'all niggas something right now. A lot of cats don't know. I used to play in Street Fighter tournaments back in the day, and I won. I won a Sega Saturn. That was it on Jamaica Avenue. That was a contest. I couldn't remember the name that time I told y'all before. That was what it was, a Sega Saturn with Virtual Fighter. I won a Street Fighter tournament, and I won a Sega Saturn. Yeah, the Sega Saturn was tough. Uh, the Wii. The Wii is tough, too. Remember we was playing that that, that zombie, yeah. some zombie shoot em up gang? That, 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 that shit was tough. I definitely like the Wii. Shout out to my daughter because I had to bust ass and dance, dance revolution. Niggas be thinking that big niggas can't dance. I, you know, y'all y'all won't see the video. But I told you, when Chris Brown, Fine China came on, I had to give it to her. Because yeah? she gave it to me with the Madonna and the Michael Jackson and all that. I, 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 I wasn't even letting her win. I was going full throttle. But when the Chris Brown, Fine China came on, they had to take the hat off. Yo, you know what I'm saying? Man, she, she, she don't know. Yo. She was like, hold up, Dad. You just won? Yeah, I got that. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, my man Tyrone Thomas. Let's see, he's at work on that graveyard shit, waiting for this episode to drop. Okay. He said, "We got love for floss out here in DC. Drink up, bitches." No, I shut. Go oh, no doubt, no, no doubt. Way. I'm gonna go hop the gate at the White House, nigga. I'm doing <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that dude on TV. <laughs> Shout out to everybody in DC. DC is is ill because I went to DC, man, on, on a high school trip back in the days, and it's funny because. Literally five blocks from the White House is the hood, yo. I mean, the hood, yo. Like, like going to Fort Greene. Like, you see the White House on TV, everything look nice and clean. You can drive. And, and you know, Tyrone, hit me up in the comments and let me know if I'm lying. You could drive for under 10 minutes and be from the White House to the hood. Not the, not just a hood. I mean, the hood, yo. Like, like yo, niggas. With, I, when we went, there was niggas with those, the barrel garbage cans on fire, burnt, yo, for heat, singing around a garbage can. Like, we couldn't believe this shit. We actually went out there to go to Howard. We were staying at Howard for some pre-college type shit. And um, we went to the White House. And down the block was the hood. Everybody like, damn, they don't show you that on TV. But it is what it is. <laughs> Let's see. My man, Wholesale123.org. Let's see. My brother just launched a product at, let's see, it looks like vigoryline.com for the iPad. Tell me what you think. All right, I will click that link, and we'll, we'll, we'll get into that, and uh, we'll check it out. Wholesale123.org. We'll definitely check that out. If it's something, then, T, I'll put that on the list, and we just order one of those and keep it moving. You want matter of fact, let's see. Um, I'll, I'll send it to you in a minute. Okay. Let's see. Um, oh, you see it? V I A G G I line dot com. One more time, babe. It's V I A G G I dash line dot com for some iPad shit. All right, so we'll check that out. Let's see, my man Aunt Silla. 
What's good for us? Sipping on the sipping with the Amazon Warrior tonight before another long work week. Shout out from Albine, Texas. Drink up, bitches. Yo, Ant, I'm telling you, man, we, we getting ready to move out to Texas. This is what I'm talking about. Niggas like my man Ant. I'm going to have to come and holler at you, man, because I'm going to be looking for a new set of friends out there. So all my niggas in Texas, hit me up, man, because I, I don't know no car shows out there, no car clubs, no, you know, no nothing. I'm going to be like a new fish out there. So me and T, we're going to be looking for some friends. We're going to be looking for some shit to do. I know y'all got all those uh, all those liberal uh, gun laws out there, so we're going to be out there busting off mad shots. We're going to be having mad fun. So um, let, let, let me know, man. I'm just, Aunt Scylla, yo, you want to come through to the crib and shit, you know, we have a little barbecue and shit, we get to know each other, a little meet and greet, you know what I'm saying, I'm, I'm a good host too, y'all niggas come to my crib, man, yo, we you walk out, food. we yeah, cook some food and shit, I get you a Bluetooth speaker, and you know what I'm saying, yeah, we have some it. fun, that's keep it moving, it. yeah, alright, let's see, my man Carmelo Santana, he ran out of supply, <laughs> he ran, I ran out of supply for the rest, <laughs> be, be back in an hour, and yeah, he ran out, he gotta, you gotta make that run to the liquor store, hope you got the, what do they call it, the package store, when you go down south, hope you got the package store down the there, the one, two, three, the one, two, three <laughs> yeah, shop, the old midnight liquor what shop, they call yo. it here, the one you go to, the, 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 the bootleg, <laughs> the bootleg spot, yo, see, out here we got the bootleg spot, you go get a bottle. You, you go get. You, you, you word up. It, it's a nigga house. Yo. You knock on the door. You got to do three knocks. Then you take two steps back, nigga. And then you be like, you be like, yo, yo. The nigga open the door. Like open a little port of the door. You don't say hello, good evening. You just say Ciroc, nigga, over Hennessy. And then you wait. And then the, you, 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 you wait, you hear like a little knock. That means go to the front and your shit is out in the front. So I like the little bootleg spot out here. Let's see my man Dark Tech mix that Malibu with pineapple and cranberry juice. Oh, we could have got some cranberry juice. We drinking it with the pineapple juice though. So we, we, we right there. I see you, Dark Tech. My man Sing, uh, Sung In Jang. Let's see. Monday, Arvo in Australia. Oh, okay, so it's Monday in Australia. ATM, so can't be drinking up. But can't wait for the Amazon Warriors shot glasses. My man um, Sung In Jang. And we were just talking about this shit the other day. And look, I'm, I'm not even joking. For some reason... And T, remember I just told you this. For some reason, I really... This has been my whole life, too. For some reason, I get along with Asians. Good, yeah. yeah. For some reason, I've, uh, I've always had, like, some kind of shit that me and Asians get along, yo. So my man Sung In Jang, yo, that's what it is. Shout out to my man Sit. I, I, I still remember that. This is the only Asian nigga that I don't get along with. Is my man Sit. Because he keep beating my ass in Street Fighter. And I don't like that shit. But, you know... Asians got that they they got a oh they got an advantage in Street Fighter yeah and it, it's a known fact I'm not even yo yo what yo not I'm not even making that up yo Asian niggas yo they got a they got an advantage in Street Fighter yo so I, I that, that's why I'm not too mad about that but like I said I, I do get along with a lot of Asians out there yo shout out to all the Asian all the Asians on the check in you know hit me up. You know what I'm saying? I put up the picture of the pig feet, I mean, the uh, chicken feet the other day. A lot of cats was like, oh, that's some Asian shit. Hit me up if all oh, your yeah, Asians out there. I, I didn't know that. I thought it was like some down south country that. nigga, some country nigga type <laughs> shit. Yeah, that just, see, now T, <laughs> T's one of them old country bumpkin <laughs> niggas that she'll eat the shit. When I was, I was joking with the chicken feet, she was like, oh, you want that for dinner tonight? No. She was, she was, I put the shit, I, I, I took a picture. One time. Yeah, right. I put, I, I, I put the shit, I took the shit. Somebody else. Let, let me tell you. Up. I took the picture of the shit and put it back. I turned around the shit back in the cart. So I'm like, all right, let me. Just, like maybe I dropped it there. Took it back out of the cart. You turn around no again. Chicken, turn no. around again. The chicken all feet the back pieces. in the cart. T is not playing, all right? You see that she had the claw. On it? T's talking about sucking the nail or the claw or some shit. Like, oh, you gotta suck the claw. <laughs> <laughs> you say you a barbecue sauce. Now you, these are my oh you. You don't know how to eat this. You gotta suck the claw off that shit. Yeah. All right, that's what it is. All right, so. That's the end of the, the, the Twitter check-in for now. Look, this video is going mad long tonight. It is what it is. We drinking. We having fun. Let's take a shot. Let's take a shot. Let's do um. Let's do a little. Let's do a quick, really, really quick product recap. I'm not even gonna show the product. I'm just gonna mention the shit real quick and um let y'all know what I think about it. How about that? Instead of um, you know, just in the interest of time. I'm not saying like I gotta wrap the video up for no specific time, but it is um 2:29 and um. I'm hungry. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I love I eat some, Bill's gotta get you know, T T T T promised me she gonna cook me some some hardcore shit for for dinner. You know that? Uh, How we doing? You know, T don't dinner. play. T don't play. You know what I'm saying? So she gonna T gotta get her apron out and get her cooking on. So you know, so we not gonna get her too drunk. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> don't do the shit I did. I yo the other night. This is a matter of fact. This is a, a couple of months ago. 
I'm, I'm mad drunk. I'm making margaritas. I forgot to, you know, I'm mar making margaritas and drinking them straight out the blender. I forgot to take the straw out of the margarita. I made the next round, blended it with the up. straw and the shit. And I'm I'm drinking the shit like, yo, this ice is kind of chewy tonight. Like, this is a weird ice. Cheers to fucking, you being alive. Fucking baby. <laughs> like, I'm drinking the fucking straw, you yeah. mm. noob shit, yeah. Drink up, bitches. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, let's do the quick product recap real quick. I got this shit set up already. Let's see. Um, we'll start from the last Amazon Warrior video. Now this one, I like I said, I'm gonna go a little bit quicker because I did miss a week, so we did do some price in between them. We got the uh, Urban Armor Gear case for the for the iPhone 6 Plus. Oh, I forgot I had. Oh yeah, matter of fact, that's the same one. That's the that the clear picture threw me off because that's the one on the M8. That case is dope. You've seen that. The Vera store. These are just cases. Oh, cases. You don't need to recap. It's a case. The Parrot, Z the Parrot Zeke's here. All right. Now, those Parrot headphones is a go. But the thing about it is they got a new set coming out in the next couple of weeks. Like the, the, the Parrot Zeke 2.0 joints. You know what I'm saying? So... I got these ones right here, so I'm gonna have to dish these off to somebody. Maybe I sell them for a quick half price, you know, just to move the, move them out real quick. But the Parrot 2.0s is coming out. To me, those headphones is dope. Are they better than the Samsung Level Over? I would say no. The, the, now they have a better build, like with that aluminum as opposed to the Samsung plastic. But um, I would go with the Samsung just because they look better. The Samsung ones is bigger. The Samsung ones just look better to me. That. Huh? I want the other ones. You want, you want, all right, so you get the other ones. I get you. You, 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 you got the other ones. You, get. you don't even like them shits, though. You, yeah, you got them shits. But they the, got the, the, the trackpad shit. The smaller ones we saw in Best Buy. Right? Oh, you talking about the Samsung ones? Yeah. I'm talking about the Parrot shit. Nah, dog. Nah, that's, not, that's what I'm saying. You don't want the Parrot ones, yo. The, no. the Samsung ones, the level ones, those shits are tough. Like the yeah. white ones with the trackpad and all that. Yeah. That's the ones I had on the other morning when I was fucking coming, came in the house bouncing mad hard, having <laughs> mad fun. Let's see, um, the Denon speaker. <laughs> The Denon speaker is the truth, yeah. That speaker is the truth. That's one of the that that was a uh, one of those surprise speakers. Like you know, never heard of the name before, and the, the, like like all right, let's just try something different. That speaker is the truth, right there. Only downside is you have to charge it with a house charger. You can't charge it with a computer or micro USB. It got to be house charged. All right, so then that, is that a downside? It depends where you're using it. If you're using it in the house, then of course not. But um. That cuts down on the portability factor because you take it to the beach or something and you're going to be out all day. You blast the music for four or five hours and the speaker dies. You can't just plug in a Bluetooth, you know, I mean, a, a portable battery charger and charge it back up. That speaker's dead for the day. All right, but, it, but the sound on it is ridiculous. I would put that right up there with the Bose sound link. Like that Denon speaker, don't sleep on the name. You never heard of Denon? Don't sleep on it, though. That speaker's a go. Let's see that uh, Pulse dimmable LED light. Oh, that's another one right there. That shit is so sick. That's another one that I reviewed and put it right back in the box, saving that for the big move, because that, that's the ones that I'm, I'm going to need like about another four sets of those. Those is crazy. And one thing I forgot to mention in the video is that the life of them, like people was asking like, oh, okay, it's a light bulb, but what happens when it dies? Now you're stuck with just, you know, you, you want to play music, you have to put it in the light socket and turn it on with no light just to hear the music. Dog, that shit lasts 22 years, yeah? It says on their website that the speakers, and you can hit them on Twitter if you want, if you don't believe me, they said that that light bulb should last you 22 years. Now, even if it only said two years, that's a win. 22 years, five years is a major win. 10 years is, okay, that's ridiculous. 22 years, <laughs> dog, you're not going to be, <laughs> by then, the, the type of technology would be out. You probably have some laser Bluetooth shit that you don't even need to plug in some laser light shit here. So whatever. The Monster Diamond Tears headphones, sick, yeah. Sick, completely sick. That's ones that you drop that bass, that bass boost app. Them headphones come alive, yo. Crazy. iPhone six plus real review. Shout out to everybody who watched that video. Let me just um, let me just address something about that video real quick. Cause this shit been kind of bugging me. So let me talk about that real quick. Let's have another shot real quick. Also, <laughs> real quick. Everything is real quick. And when I say real quick, that means real long. Just in case y'all didn't know that. All right, everything is real quick, but that means real long. Now, when I did that iPhone 6 real review, a lot of cats was complaining that the review was, you know, 58 minutes long. And my response to that is this. When I make videos, especially reviews for phones and, you know, shit that costs seven, eight hundred dollars these are not 
These are not uh, YouTube reviews. All right? These are not vi uh, videos that I make trying to get views. All right? There's no way that you're going to review a phone. A phone that does so much stuff, you can't review that in six minutes, yo. Dog, it's impossible. Now, if I want to just get views, yeah, I could just say, okay, yo, this phone is nice. It has a nice camera, nice build, nice processor. It's a, it's a go. You should buy this. See y'all later. That's not a review, though. That's more like a sales pitch. That's more like a... Like a commercial. You know what I'm saying? When I make when I make reviews, I make reviews for the consumer. I, I make reviews the same way like if I was gonna buy something, I make that review was in you know with the uh thought process of what if it was me watching this video, what do I want to know? And I give y'all a perfect example. Imagine if you're going car shopping. Now you're in the market to buy a new car. When you click now, you go and you, you know, say, okay, let me look on YouTube and find some uh, videos about cars. I'm interested in buying a Camaro. Let me go look at some Camaro videos, some Camaro review videos. Now, you click on one and the video is six minutes long and it, the video says, okay, this car is fast. It has some nice leather seats. It was built at this Ford plant over here and that's it. You know, you should get this. This is, this is hot. Is that the review that you want to watch before you go out and spend 30 G's on the car? Or do you want to watch a review that's 40 minutes long that shows you the trunk size, shows you the, the brakes, shows you the engine, the interior, the headlights, you know, shows you the drivetrain, shows you everything about that car, and then not only shows you everything about it, compares it to other shit. Because a lot of people is asking me, you know, I said in the video, I'm not going to compare this, I'm not going to turn this into a comparison video, but, and then I keep saying that, but, but, Look, when you when when you buying a phone, of course I could just do an iPhone 6 review, but that's not the only phone out. Of course you're gonna have to compare it with the next phone out that's similar, that's getting the most buzz. And that happens to be the Galaxy Note 4. So a lot of people was kind of mad that I that I kept comparing it to the Androids and all that. But I don't give a fuck about that. When I make the video, I'm making it for that dude at home that got eight hundred dollars in his pocket and he's getting ready to buy a new phone. And he wants to know, should I buy an iPhone? Should I buy a Galaxy Note? Should I buy an LG G3? No, I'm not going to make three separate videos. You know, I'm going to make, just like when I do my Galaxy Note video, I'm going to compare it to the iPhone 6. I'm going to compare it to my LG G3. All of the other top dog phones that's out, that's how I do. All right, so if you didn't, if you couldn't appreciate that shit or you didn't understand that, then these kind of videos ain't for you. You could go watch some of these other channels where they basically make a quick five minute video which just shows you the specs the same specs that you already see from the website they don't really tell you nothing about about, about the phone i see these videos all the time all right I, I watch these videos too i see I, I say to myself there's no way that i'm gonna go out and buy a phone after i just watched the video on it that was five minutes long i didn't even learn nothing about the phone except for the specs like that's the shit that you could google so when I did that iPhone 6 review, a lot I was catching a lot of heat. A lot of people were saying that the video's too long and all of that. Look, dog, when you're watching the video, you have the option to skip forward. You can do that if you want. But the main people that I made the video for is the people that appreciate it. When you read the comments for yourself, a lot of people was like, this is kind of one of the most in-depth, thorough reviews that, that, that that's on the market right now. And that's my goal. My goal is to make in-depth reviews, not just on the surface, okay, look at the build quality, look at the camera, look at the battery, read the same specs that's on Apple's website. Who can't do that? Anybody could go to Apple's website and see that. You want to know how do they perform in day-to-day -day functions and how do they perform against other phones of equal caliber. All right, so that's why I did that. So I hope that answers that. And real quick, also a lot of people was, um, you know, looking for something to harp on in the video, looking for something to hate. So everybody was like, oh, when I showed y'all, when I showed y'all this feature right here, let me let me bring it up real quick. When I showed this feature right here, that when I was like, okay, I like Android phones that you could go like this and pinch the zoom and look at your home pages. Everybody's like, oh no, with the iPhone you could just pull down and look at Spotlight. Let me explain something else. This is not my first iPhone. I, I had every single iPhone that ever came out, I already had that. I had every single iPhone. Spotlight is not a new feature. That, that's, that, feature that feature been out. I'm not talking about pulling down and searching for one specific app. I'm talking about pinch the zoom and see all your apps. Because what happens, I understand if you're looking for Shazam, 
you don't have to pinch and look for Shazam. You could just, you know, type it in the search. Guess what? You could do that on Galaxy phones too. I'm talking about when you don't know which app you're looking for, when you just, you know, when you have the, the DMV or you somewhere and you're bored and you're like, you know what? Let me just check my home pages and see what apps I got, see what I feel like looking at. Then you could just look around. And now I'm looking at, look at this, right now I'm looking at three, four home pages together all at once. There's nothing to use Spotlight and search for. I'm just browsing. I right, so when you want to browse, browse your all your apps. Yeah, you can't beat Android pinch that pinch feature. You can't beat that. So I mentioned that and a lot of cats was hitting me up talking about oh no, iPhones got spotlight and all that. Dog, no, I'm not like I said, I'm not gonna even get into that right now because you could do that on your Galaxy Note 2. You could do the same thing. You could put in the search and search for apps. You could you could go on your voice search and just open up an app using voice search. Same thing on iPhone, you could do that too. Anyway. Let's keep it moving, you know. I saw, I, you see, I, I, I was about to start raging out. I started getting, I was, I was about to start raging out. Oh, shit. I, 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 I thought you was trying to get raw dog. All right, my bad. Let me get a little juice in this shit. All right, oh, okay. 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 <laughs> I heard that. What movie was that? Wait, I heard that. Um, oh, King said, of New York. Yes, King of New York. Yes, yes. Oh, shout out to yes. everybody who's seen King of New York. Yes. If you ever see King of New York yes. with Frank White, <laughs> with, with, with Frank, right. it's Christopher Walken, Larry Fishburne, Wesley Snipes, David Carruth, the, the, a whole set of niggas. Go watch King of New York. But there's a funny part at the beginning when, the, when Frank White just came out of jail and Larry Fishburne was talking to him in the hotel room and he said something. Frank White was like, I heard that. <laughs> For some reason, you know, me, me and T find that part so funny. And every time I hear some, I go, I heard that. I can't even do my high pitch voice right now, but y'all get the drift. Drink up, bitches. Okay, let's see. Big blue party speaker. Oh, okay. What? Now, I got to put a time out right now for the big blue party speaker. That is literally my favorite Bluetooth speaker right now that I own. The Big Blue Party Speaker, the name of it, that's one of these products that the name fits the product. All right? Because first of all, they call it Big Blue. All right. Not too much blue on it. Okay, whatever. But big. It's giant. All right? It's a big, giant speaker, and it's a party speaker. All right? This speaker is made for parties. It's ridiculous. All right? This is the best sounding Bluetooth speaker that I own right now. And y'all know I got probably about 50 of them in the crib right now. This is the best sounding one. This, the Harman Kardon, the Denon, and the Jam Storm, those are all, and the Oomph Joint, those are all six speakers. But the Jam Storm, the downside to that is it has to be on a certain kind of surface to get that bass. If you're holding the Jam Storm in your hand, that's the end of all that bass because it uses table surface to make vibrations. So Jam Storm is not the best outdoor speaker. Definitely not good for outdoor. Like if you put it on a cement surface, it's a no-go. Not the best party speaker. Harman Kardon speaker, that speaker is ridiculous. That's one of my favorite ones, but not the most portable. All right, that speaker's a big round ball. Like, you know, you can't just put that in your pocket and bounce somewhere. That's a speaker that you got to have. Like, you, you know, you want to go to the beach. And not to mention the way the Harman Kardon is set up, it, it has to be kind of on that flat surface because, you know, you see the way it's kind of set up. You can't just put that speaker in the car like, yo, we out. No, you can't do that. And the same thing is with this big blue speaker. Like, this big blue speaker is huge, and it's mad heavy. Now, let me tell you the downside of this, all right? The downside is the battery only lasts about four hours. So, which, you know, if you're having a party in the crib, who cares? Because you got it plugged in. But if you take it with you to the beach or something, four hours ain't enough. And once it dies, you can't charge it with a blue, you know, with a battery charger. You can't charge it with a laptop or something. It has to be charged with an AC wall adapter. So if you take it to the beach four hours later, you're going to be carrying around this big, giant, heavy speaker with no sound. All right, so the, that's the downside to the big blue that is really for the house, the, you know, the house, the office, somewhere that you have AC power. But if you are in the house or you are in your backyard or something, the speaker is ridiculous. Like I said, this is my new favorite Bluetooth speaker, that big blue T. When, when T came in the house, I was like, yo, T, check this out for yourself. Am I lying, T? I was like, yo, listen to this for yourself. And at first, I played it with no bass, and it was bumping. Then when I dropped that bass on it, speaker's ridiculous. All right, so the big blue party speaker and the price, yo, it's $300 here. Yeah? That's the same price as the Beats Pill, same price as the, the Bose SoundLink, and it's killing it. It's killing it with the sound, but... 
you know, that's something you got to look at because you got a Beats pill. You could charge that, you know, with a blue, you know, with a battery charger. You know, some of these other speakers like the Oont, you could charge that with a regular battery charger. So that's something you got to look at. You got to look at portability also. You can't just put the big blue speaker in your bag and take it with you somewhere. You you need that one that you need a separate seat for that in the car. You know, like you you go with a car load of niggas. That big blue speaker you got that shit got to be in the trunk. Yeah? That shit's huge. Yeah? But it's a go though. It's sick. Zero Lemon LG ninety three hundred. You know what I'm saying? All right, the the Zero Lemon LG, uh, the uh, the nine thousand. All right, the nine thousand milliamp battery. That battery is ridiculous. All right, that is the way a battery. Why can't these companies make a battery like that stock? I know it's technology and all that. Imagine if they could make a stock size battery that's nine thousand milliamp. It's ridiculous, yo. Mm -hmm. All right, now that is what's making me love my LG G3 because the point is I use the LG G3 a lot, but that battery dies so fast. It's like, you know, I start using it, then two three hours later. I gotta pick up another phone because I wanna save some battery on that one and or I gotta go quickly find a charger or whatever. With this zero lemon battery, it's the same as on your note three when you had the zero lemon one. Yeah, it turns it into a big giant brick and yeah, it's mad heavy what? in your pocket and all that. But minimum shit, three days. Yeah, easily. Minimum you can easily without charging it. You can easily use it all day long, don't charge it at night, and use it all day the next day. Really? All day long. Yeah. Now for a nigga like me. Well, my, my G3 right now, I charge it to 100. I took it out on Saturday, beast mode. I'm all day long. I'm beast mode. I'm in the gym for my whole hour run. I'm watching YouTube videos and all that. When I got home, the shit was on 69%, yo. That is insane, yo. All right, so that one right there, trust me. You you If you got a G3, you better get that zero lemon battery. Now, the thing is, yeah, it's going to add a lot of extra weight and bulk and all of that. You know what I'm saying? If you carry more than one phone... Yeah, you know, after a while, you might get pissed off carrying around that big thing. It comes with a belt clip. I don't recommend using the belt clip. <laughs> kind of look kind of, you know, I, I don't look kind of suspect. Remember, you used to be walking around with that shit. That shit like a fucking gun. Yo. I don't, like it. Yo, I let like me tell it, you something. I like it. You better, if you wear that belt clip, you better watch out for the cops because that should look like a gun, yo. All right, so. If you're wearing that belt clip underneath your shirt. And a package. Nigga, you will get shot, yo. You better be careful. That should look like a fucking gun, yo. Unbelievable. Let's see. Um, oh, we got the fake iPhone 6 Plus. This one right here. That was a win. This is a win. Now, now a lot of, believe it or not, a lot of people was complaining that the price was 26 bucks. Oh, my God, 26 bucks. But the, when you Dude, feel it. Dude, when you, you, when you feel it for yourself. When you feel it for yourself, it feels exactly like the six plus, mm -hmm. and you got to think about it. Like now, a lot of people just, a lot of people just never happy. Like a lot of people just, oh, twenty six dollars. T, there's times that between me and you, we've had Chinese food delivered to the house that was thirty dollars, mm -hmm. or four, you know, even more than that. Like uh, nights we get mad drunk and just be like, yo, let's just fucking fat out yeah. and just eat mad Chinese food. Chinese food will come and be like thirty five dollars. And it should taste like shit, you know? Yeah. We eat half of it, throw the rest away. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's $36 on, on 15 minutes worth of food, and we didn't even eat all of it. Mm -hmm. So 26 bucks for something like this that you're going to get multiple pranks out of. You know, because I, I haven't even began to do the pranks yet. <laughs> I haven't even began to do the pranks yet. Well, you're going to get multiple pranks. You know, dudes that got little kids and all that. You know the first thing you got a kid, the first thing you want to do is play with your phone. They don't even know what they're doing. They just want to hold your phone because they see you holding it all day. Mm -hmm. They want to hold it. You don't want to give your, your, you know, your four or five year old your new iPhone six plus or end up in the toilet, end up on the floor. You give them this. You you play with your phone and you do a quick switch and be like, yeah, take my phone. They 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 gonna go like this. They're not gonna notice that this shit don't move. They don't care. They just gonna put this shit to the air and they're like, oh, look at me, I'm on the phone. They're gonna drop the shit, do a cartwheel over it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're gonna break the shit and you're gonna be happy that you spent twenty six bucks on that shit, yo, and, and not seven hundred on your new phone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's what that, that's what it is. Let's see, we got the SMS by Sync, the um the, the SMS Sync by 50 portable speaker. This shit right here. Now look, this is another product right here. This one ain't for everybody. All right. Now I will say, on a scale of one to ten, the bass on it is probably like around a seven. Not the most bass in the world. Definitely not. A lot of people was complaining about the price, two hundred bucks for that. I can agree with you on that. Yeah, it's a little bit pricey. But this is one of those speakers that, you know, this is something that's 
more like if you got a nice office and you want to have a nice looking speaker like it if you see that jam speaker that's right behind that 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 um big blue joint you see that jam speaker right there pass me that jam right there no right hold on let me think right there babe right behind the big blue this one not this one no it's right there it's a long one yeah right there you see if something like this now you could get something like this look look at this speaker this is a jam speaker this one was like 50 60 bucks look how cheesy this looks compared to this look at the difference you see these big buttons these big old school click buttons compared to touch capacitive like everything ain't always about only the the sound quality and all that some stuff is about the look mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying now this one look at the look on this you have the matte finish with the gloss yeah you know you might be able to find a better sounding speaker but let me just polish this off because i'm definitely feeling the way this one looks this is one this is one of those speakers that have to go in my office on a nice glass table you know it just looks sick i has the light up let's see is it hello. charged up has the light up hello this one is tough now like i said not the most bass in the world but if you're buying this speaker for like office you know what i'm saying or somewhere that you work at you're not going to be able to blast music all day anyway. You're not going to be blasting maximum volume. But if you have a nice office set up and you got, you know, Apple, you got a MacBook and you got all these fancy, you know, aluminum glass products all over the place, then you don't want some cheesy looking speaker. You want something that looks nice. So this one is a more of the look department. That's why I got it. And also it matches my, my, my wireless um, 50 cent headphones. So a lot of times I like to complete the set. So yeah, two hundred dollars is a little bit steep on the price. If it was me and my product, I would have sold this speaker for I say one fifty at max. I would have actually sell it for one forty or one thirty. But um, you got to remember also that presentation. That's enough. That you you got to remember you you probably paying about thirty bucks for that presentation. That that box and that presentation <laughs> is ridiculous, yeah. And that might not mean nothing to you. You know what I'm saying? If you're not buying something, you getting a gift. You don't care about presentation. If you're getting a gift, somebody hands you a Bluetooth speaker, you just rip it open and play with it. But when you just worked two weeks straight, now you got your paycheck, and now you you, you know you pay all your bills, and you notice you got an extra you know $400 in your account to play around when you say, you know what, let me go out and get a Bluetooth speaker. And you go out and you get something like this. And you get home, and you, you know, you having a drink, and you sit back, let me play with my new toy. This is when that unboxing experiences you, you're gonna enjoy that you're gonna enjoy it way more than when you open up that um when you open up that oomph and it's just a plain box and you open it up and it's some foam you're gonna enjoy this when you open it up and have those flaps and the sleeve and everything is just packaged so nice you're gonna feel like you got your money's worth all right so you know, like i said it's a different stroke for different folks personally i like it and um it's gonna look dope on the glass table dope <laughs> it's gonna look dope i'm trying to start using that word more like dope she's like gonna start dope. looking dope yo. you know what i'm saying like she gonna look, i gotta be like matt hardcore i was like yo shit looking dope <laughs> and last but not least um the the lg cases the rinky the the rinky fusion and max those are some um little you know stink ten dollar cases yeah <laughs> rinky dink that's the damn rinky no but it even though to be honest with you the fusion the fusion is um eh, it's kind of cool though, it's, it's, but you gotta remember it's ten bucks. It's ten bucks for just a plain clear case. If you got a gold G3 and you want people to see that gold, yeah, I know I like gold, nigga. If you want people to see that gold G3, yeah, get that. And uh, the Ricky Fusion, look, if, if, I think that was fifteen bucks. Any case is better than no case. But I already said that when I did the video. I said these are some really inexpensive cases. Right? And now look, I know you could you could get speaking cases or Veris cases for like 20 bucks. So should you get the Rinky or should you just spend the extra five and get the Veris? Personally, I say spend the extra five. Now, when I order those Rinky joints, that's, you know, we, we you know something like we're doing right now. We drink it, we have fun, we were looking for variety. But um, if I had to choose, I would definitely choose a speaker and a Veris case over those over those rinky shits here ringy ring. i said rinky ringy <laughs> rinky rinky dink nah but they cool though <laughs> they cool though look and that was out um, 10 bucks for that shit i mean come on come on nowadays you go to mcdonald's you're spending 20 bucks on a lunch here so that, that that's what a lot of niggas have to understand like stop crying about the price on stuff and then like like niggas are, like the other day i went to the car wash 
on something. And I asked him, I was like, um, let me get the inside, outside, because I normally do my own inside. But just, you know, I was like, fuck it, let me just do the inside, because I haven't done the inside in a minute. I was like, do the inside, the outside. I go to the front, and T, you know, because you go to that same car wash. The motherfuckers was like 14 bucks, yeah? Now, look, that's $14, fellas, for a car wash. That's a lot. That's $14 for a car wash. And then, literally, the next day, you come outside, you got bird shit. It rained overnight. You got mad leaves and acorns falling in the car. 14 bucks for a car wash just for people to see you shining for a few minutes. Stop crying about $10 for a phone case that's going to last you the life of your phone. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's so much shit I could think of that, uh, but look, it depends where you live at you might have a different view of money than how we think out here. Like where I live at in New York City, if I go to work and I park my car in the parking lot, I spend $33 a day. That's just a park for one day, yeah. That's 33 bucks, yeah. So niggas be complaining about, you know, about, about, a, about a $20 phone case. I'm like, dog, I paid $33 just to park my car. You know what I'm saying? I go, I go inside and get a sandwich, a $9 sandwich. Yeah, get a get a get a drink and you know get a snack. I'm spending twenty dollars a day on lunch, just to shit out it a couple of hours later. Yep, like you know what I'm saying. Why why would I not want to buy a fifteen dollar phone case that I'm gonna have for the life of my phone? So I don't know. Like I said, man, just just um, just start enjoying shit more and stop complaining so much. Yo. All right, y'all complaining ass niggas out there. Yo, stop complaining so much and start having a drink and, and, and living your fucking life a little bit. Now look. Now, let's talk about this uh, giveaway, and we'll wrap this video up. Now, this is one night I'm not going to do an Amazon product because the um, video's already going mad long. It's, it's going long enough. Yeah, we did get fucking, we, I, I got a little giveaway for y'all. I'm, I'm going to tell y'all about it right now. All right, since, let's, as a matter of fact, let's have a shot first. Shout out to everybody rocking with the Amazon Warrior. This is the 10th edition. Let's drink up. And let me grab my little package right here for the giveaway. I got the package right here on deck. Now look, let me tell you why my giveaway is a little bit different than everybody else's. Every other giveaway that you see on the YouTubes and all of that. My giveaway works like this. All right, this is not some kind of contest, commercialized shit. Because you know, anybody who knows me knows that I hate commercial shit. I that's why. If you watch to this day, like I said, the offer still stands. The offer is still out there right now. $10,000 cash right now for anybody. That means anybody. Anybody that could go through any one of my videos and find where I say, please subscribe to my channel. Or please, you know, find any video that I say, please subscribe to my channel. Find it and I give you $10,000. You know why I don't say that? Because that's kind of commercial, yo. That's like that's like you, you know, you you going somewhere. Imagine like you going and do something that you like, and the person that that you the 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 place that you went to, they telling you, please have fun. Imagine you go to Great Adventures, and when you come in, they like, please have fun. They don't have to tell you to have fun, nigga. You at Great Adventures, yo. You're gonna have fun, and if you don't have fun, then you ain't gonna come back. They don't have to beg you to have fun at Great Adventures, and that's the same thing with my channel. I don't ask people to subscribe to my channel because. People that subscribe to my channel subscribe because they understand where I'm coming from. You know what I'm saying? They real customers, real consumers like me. They real niggas like me, real OGs like me. You know what I'm saying? Like the people that watch my channel is real dudes. And there's a saying, real recognize real. You know, real don't got to sell to real. You don't have to sell. If you're a real nigga, you don't have to sell yourself to another real nigga. Real niggas will recognize real immediately. And that's how my channel works. My channel is you watch a video. If you like it, don't don't get me wrong. If you like it, hit the thumbs up. That lets me know that you like it. And that, that, that gives me motivation to keep doing more and keep pushing more, you know, and pushing more videos out and keep pushing forward. But at the same time, I'm not going to tell you, oh, like, don't forget to like the video. I don't have to tell you that. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, then you don't. The same thing with the cats that subscribe to my channel. That's why I say I'd rather have whatever number of subscribers I have that's real subscribers as opposed to some of these cats that got a million subscribers and nobody watched the channel because people subscribing just because they want to win something for free or they want to win a contest. That's not what I'm looking for. I, I don't want I don't want that um that fake quantity. I want quality subscribers and quality viewers that's why when i take it to the twitter you might see me on twitter and be like all right 
This nigga don't got that many Twitter followers. That's cool. That's how I like it. I like it when I take it to Twitter, though. The real niggas is hitting me up. I don't need a, I don't need, why do I need to have, you know, 7,000, uh, 75,000, a million Twitter followers? There's no way I'm going to be able to communicate with a million niggas. I like to have my shit at a nice number like at how it is now. The people that, you know, follow me on Twitter, when they hit me, I can hit them back. There's no way I'll be able to hit back, uh, uh, you know, 100,000 niggas in one night. That's not happening. A lot of cats, you know, and a lot of cats is more focused on numbers and not focused on, on quality. So that's why when I say I'm doing this giveaway tonight, there's no rules and regulations and, and guidelines to this giveaway. You don't have to subscribe to my channel to win. I, if it, <laughs> you can, you can watch, this could be your first time watching this video and you could win. You don't have to retweet my video. You don't have to like my video. All you have to do, let me see. Let me, let, 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 matter of fact, this is what I came up with. I and this and this will let me know. This will let me know the real cats. And this is the cats that I want to win. Like I want, I want, I want this giveaway to be for my real niggas. And this is just the first giveaway. So we're gonna start off small. So I know niggas like, where are they niggas doing the giveaway? No, I'm not giving away the beats pill.